Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this new figure unboxing and review, we're going to be looking at the War for Cybertron Earthrise Voyager Class Grapple. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We'll have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We'll do some comparisons with him and some other figures that share the same mould. And of course, we'll do some comparisons with him and his original Generation 1 self. So yes, I have brought this figure after the release of Art Fire, so this isn't brand brand new, but it is a new figure. And the main reason, funnily enough, for me buying this figure is due to Art Fire. I just fell in love with this mould. I thought it was really good, and it truly did inspire me to get this one. So at this point, I then have to thank uh, Rohan from Rohan's Corner on Transformers The Show. And he sells his figures on eBay under the name Blue Streak, and he sold me this at a great price. So let's have a look at him. First and foremost, we've got lovely artwork sorry for the reflection there we go on the side of him looking great i don't know why i bypassed him to be honest i think maybe it was just locked down in the uk and didn't really have the money for him there we can see is his alternate mode we can see it's going to take 16 steps and of course there we've got the lovely earthrise artwork so let's crack this guy open um, and yeah so this is 2020 i think it is it's a good couple of years old um, and yeah, as I say, luckily enough, he still had one all um, sealed and brand new. So I wouldn't have minded if it wasn't brand new, to be fair, um, because I just like the figure. Uh, but recently in the UK, this figure was like really heavily discounted and found in TK Maxx stores. Uh, so I think that's the main reason why lots of people have got availability of him. Right, I'm trying to open this, as you can see, without damaging it too much. I don't know why I've come this side. I've forgotten how to do these boxes without causing any damage. I should have gone straight for the bottom, shouldn't I? Anyway, <laughs> I've managed to undo it. There we go. And slide him out this way. I thought this way would cause the least amount of damage, and I think I've got away with it. Right, there we go. So we can see him inside his packaging there. He's got his claw. He's got his large gun. We've got the old good old-fashioned tech spec decoder there and i can already see on here that there's no um hidden word inside there but you can of course piece this map with some of the rest of the figures what i'm going to do now though i'm going to set him free from there come straight back to you and we're going to do some first impressions okay guys we're going to do some quick first impressions now he's fresh out the box and let's have a look at him and again, really liking it. Lovely bit of translucent blue plastic there in the window. Nice detailed head sculpt. You can see the eyes there. Quite a bit of articulation on it. It won't go rock backwards and forwards too much because you can see it's on a mushroom peg rather than a ball and socket. Shoulders will go out to the side, all the way around. Bicep flexion, wrist movement, but again, mainly for transformation purposes. Waist swivel, hips front, back, side, knees bend. Uh, ankle rock and yeah pretty much as you'd expect that's why i don't spend too much time talking about articulation because with all these new figures they should have exactly what they've got um one thing that did sort of confuse me quickly but i'll show you in a second is we've got his gun there which is his main accessory and we've got his claw but i was looking on the package there and you can see the image of he's got one of the nozzles and at first i couldn't find it but i've just found it there it is attached to the crane the side of the crane so he does have a nozzle and this can be used later on to go in the front there so that's some first impressions what we're going to do now we're going to have a quick look at him in his alternate mode before coming back and doing the finishing off with some comparisons okay then so here he is in his alternate mode quick apologies for no transformation process on this video it will be uploaded separately in order to keep the video down and not to spoil it for people who don't want to see it straight away so first impressions of this it looks okay it's going to look much much better when we of course extend this out one thing i will point out is for some reason on mine this piece of plastic here as you can see is incredibly dark compared to the rest you can see literally the two tone there between the two so i don't know if that's a product 
um, defect or anything, but for mine, it just stands out and looks a little odd. So the other thing that I've noticed that's quite odd is you can see here the wheels go around, but on the front, it's just the tyres. The wheels are completely, I suppose, yeah, fixed. It's just the tyres that are spinning around at the front. I do like the fact that, of course, you've got full movement here. As you can see, it does extend and retract. You've got the normal hook, which would be there. And then, of course, you can attach this grapple part here as well by popping it, let me just move my hands out of the way of the camera for you guys, you can see, in like so. You could also, I'm gonna attach it to the back in a second, but with the gun, because you've got these ports and pegs literally on either side and at the front, if you wanted to, you can attach the gun on the one side like so. You can either put the gun, I suppose, on the bottom but that might just get in the way let's have a look this is again just me going off my first impression i've not seen it just about doesn't look anywhere near as good obviously um or you could even as well pop it in the roof like so same with these you can pop these wherever you want in them it will just look odd sticking out this is obviously supposed to go with that tiny little cut out there on the side of this where it came from so I'm going to pop that there. Um, do you know what? I like that there, but I'm just going to show you that you can also obviously attach this to the back there. And again, you can attach the gun. We'll go upside down this time, shall we? On the side. And you can still just about get away with it. Right. Let's do a comparison then with his G1 self. I'm going to keep that rein there. I'm going to lift this up. And what I'm going to do is bring up the G1, which is... Is it just as big? Let's have a look. We'll put them side by side. No, the new one is quite a bit bigger. Of course, it's classed as a Voyager figure. And this, so let's pull them out to the side. Great use of the same color scheme. To be honest, I think these do, oh no, it's the whole wheels. I was gonna say they've copied G1 with that, but it's not, it's the whole wheels. Um, I suppose, yeah, there's not as much stickers on this particular guy. Uh, but look at it, it's a brilliant homage. What I was surprised when I did the transformation is that these silver pit, these silver parts which are on the shoulders in robot mode aren't on the side. What I mean by that is you'll see them in more detail when we do the comparison in a second. But see how they've got these silver bits on the side? They look good there and I think they look good on that to be honest. And again, you could fold these up if you wanted to, um, but they are completely covered up in this particular mode. They're tucked away inside there, but there you go. Good homage to the original Generation 1 figure. Obviously much more detail on the front of the cab as you'd expect. Nice tampographed Autobot logo and lovely blue use there for the headlights. Um, and yeah, of course we can, as I say, attach the gun to that. So we can, of course, carry every single thing in this particular mode and you won't have to worry about losing anything. Right, we're going to come back for the final time in his robot mode because that's the way I'm going to be displaying him to use his accessories and do some more comparisons. So back for the final time in robot mode and there's something I've just got to quickly share with you. I'm a little disappointed and I probably should have checked Google beforehand. Um, but what's happened to me is apparently quite a common problem. If I just show you his feet, you can see that there's a tab stuck in there still. What happened is these tabs at the back uh, basically got really stuck inside and one just literally came off in the bottom of the foot as I transformed it. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed, I've got to be honest, obviously. However, I'm going to be displaying him in robot mode and I've got no intention on selling him, so I'm just going to have to live with it. But it's a good, good figure. It's just a little disappointing that that's happened. So let's have a look at what we can do. And again, if I want to be super picky while he's in robot mode, this hollow part here, it has to be there. So I'm not being picky, I'm just giving you a reason because it needs to be there for transformation purposes. With regards to all the back of the legs, um it's again just for transformation purposes so it's it's nothing too negative so what we can do with this then we can use the nozzle as we've got in the artist image there on the left hand side we can pop a nozzle in which pretty to be honest is exactly what i do with the generation one figure as well so we'll put the generation one figure up there you can see again he's just a little bit taller than him i'm just going to pop the weapon in this hand so i've got him the polar opposite of the figure um, of the generation one original shall we say there we go and let's just see if we can attach this we can probably put this at the side 
I would imagine I've not seen any images really where um, it goes. I've probably seen it in his hand, in all honesty, but not really anywhere else if it wasn't. So, of course, we can then swap the nozzle there just for now. Let's take this out. Hope that doesn't snap as well. And this can attach in there. So that's a new look for him. Never even thought of doing that, to be honest. Right, what I'm going to do very quickly is just move this guy over and do a comparison with the reason why I brought Grapple. And the reason why I brought him is because here we have Artfire. So I suppose now I need to try and find Inferno at a good price as well. But there you go, guys. That is definitely something for you to be aware of as well. If you buy one of these uh, pretty much brand new like I did, uh, be aware of the fact that the tab will stick in it. Otherwise, um, I'm not going to let it detract too much away from a figure that, to be honest, I do really like. I think the crane alternate mode looks very good. Um, and the fact that it's, you know, quite versatile, you can see inside here. I didn't demo it because I haven't actually got any. But you can uh, then clip this in to... Um, uh, basically into some of the ramps and you can attach it to a base so there's a picture here with it clicked into a ramp there and of course that means you can then attach it to the bases and link it all up as well so again brilliant playability from a mold and a toy that i really like so i hope you enjoyed looking at him i hope it helped with your decision if you wanted to get one yourself and of course i hope it helped you um not break yours as well so there you go guys thanks for watching take care Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.